Hello, welcome to The Infidel. I'm your host, Toppled God. You can find out more about me by visiting my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash toppledgod. But for more atheism news, stick right here at Atheism TV. Canadian TV personality Rex Murphy wants Christians to be treated with civility and courtesy. Rex Murphy, the well-known Canadian commentator, wrote recently in the daily newspaper The National Post that there is a radical inconsistency to the treatment afforded to Christian believers and that most other religious groups. It would be rather nice if so many people, the Christians of the West, who offer respect, tolerance and regards to the beliefs of those other than their own, could be treated with equal civility and courtesy. Mr Murphy is particularly upset by the new Mus Russell Peters Christmas comedy special which aired across Canada on December the 1st. It features Pamela Anderson, who plays the Virgin Mary, Michael Bublé, John Lovitz, Scott Thompson, Faison Love, Guaple, Ted Lange, Russell Peters' mother, and his own daughter, Christiana. I will complete this report with a word to our Canadian viewers. The Comedy Network will rebroadcast the special on Christmas Eve at 2pm and on Christmas morning at 6am. It is widely believed that Rex Murphy will not be watching. In Canada, a Muslim father who stands accused of murdering his three daughters and one of his wives calls his victims whores. Mohammed Shafir is accused of murdering his first wife, Roma Afir, and his three daughters, Zainab, Zahar, and Giti, in a case of family honour. And how does he describe them, even after their deaths? Whores, he said on the witness stand. They lied to us. If they hadn't hidden anything from us, this would not have been their destiny. They destroyed their lives, and ours too. During the cross-examination, Crown Attorney Laurie LaSalle said, You never commended them to God. You said, May God shit on their graves. His answer was, Yes, because we are innocent and it is now in God's hands. Shafir lived in Montreal but murdered his victims hundreds of miles away in Ontario. His second wife, Tuba Yahya, and his son, Hamid Shafir, are accused of complicity in the murder. When he first arrived in Canada from Afghanistan, Mohammed Shafir had lied about his poly polygamous marriage and presented it his second wife as a relative who helped care for the children. In Henderson County, Texas, Baptists seem to enjoy making the news. It all started around Thanksgiving when the residents of Gun Barrel City started feuding over the idea of extending late night drinking in restaurants. Baptists mounted the opposition based on moral and safety reasons. They were sorely disappointed when they lost their case which made the news in the New York Times. A few weeks later, Baptists are making the news again. This time it's over a nativity scene that should be removed from the courthouse lawn. The Freedom From Religious Foundation of Wisconsin has sent a letter on behalf of the local citizen demanding that the nativity scene be removed because it sent a message of intimidation and exclusion to non-Christians and non-believers at this time of year. And so numerous ba Baptist pastors are planning to rally on the December the 17th to protest the removal of the manger scene. But they are not the only ones who want to make a stand. The judge, who received the letter from the Freedom From Religion Foundation, said he would not approve the request because the inclusion of the other decorations like Santa Claus and Frosty the Snowman makes the scene legal. A Georgian youth pastor is charged with child molestation. Fayette County investigators charged 24-year-old youth pastor Nathan Donald Moore with six counts of aggravated child molestation, 
six counts of child molestation and one count of enticing a child for indecent purposes. Moore is accused of having sexual contact with the same child on six different occasions between January and August 2011. He had previously worked as a youth pastor at the Fayette County Church. A statement from the same church stated that Nathan is not in our staff. He is a former youth minister whom we fired several months ago for refusing to follow the lead and direction of the senior pastor and elders. At no time was it known that he engaged in any activity as described in the charges. To restate, during Nathan's employment, the leadership and staff were never aware or in possession of any knowledge of any activity of which he is accused. An Australian Muslim is sentenced to 500 lashes and one year in prison by a Saudi court. Mansour al matraib an Australian Muslim father of five, was arrested on November 14th by religious police for blasphemy. At the time, he was participating in the Hajj, a yearly pilgrimage to Mecca. According to reports, he was reading from a book critical of the Prophet Muhammad's companion, a sacrilege for Sunni Muslims. According to the Herald Sun, Australian Foreign Minister Kevin Rudd has been asked to intervene personally for Alma tribe. Meanwhile, the country's ambassador to Saudi Arabia had already communicated with the Saudi authorities and is helping the man's family. However, officials have had difficulties to reach the accused. At one point, one official was refused entry at the prison door. One important reason that made the contacts difficult is that only followers of the Islamic faith are allowed to enter Medina. A representative from the consulate was present in the sentencing of where Mansa al tribe was giving two years in, de in jail. However, his sentence has since been cut in half. 